Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, this is Faithful Rattos, and as you can tell from the title of this video, this is a collective haul of all the stuff that I've gotten from my little ratties this month. This is Cade. And Hester's here because he knows I've got food with me. Here we go, here he is. This is Hester. So the first things I'm going to show you are, oh, oh, this is fun. These two CA tea foods, I can't say that word around this one, um, so forgive me for that. But these two different flavours of Lily's Kitchen look like this for their mix. So I like to use a dog food or a CA tea food to add into the protein section of my mix. And Lily's Kitchen, I also use their wet food for when I do my supplement meals. And these two are great additions as, as per the ingredients, the composition is 70% um, the meat that is involved. So the fish one, 70% fish, and this one, 70% chicken. And it tells you like specifically what's in it. So 52% white fish and 17% salmon and then for the chicken it says 65% fresh chicken and 5% chicken liver which is very interesting. Hi Piri do you want to be in the video? I got these two from Pets at Home. They were on buy one get one half price which is good. These bags are make them look very much bigger than they actually are but this is a perfect size for variety in a mix so that's why I got to show you this. <laughs> He knows his treats. Okay, okay. You can get a treat when I show them, okay? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's fine. So, I'll show you the things that I got from Pets at Home first, and then I'll show you the stuff that I got from the range. So, these are a staple in our house. These are the baked pecan and banana treats. He's coming back to me sniffing as well. That look like this. Do you want it? Um, so I got a packet of these. I did fill up their treat forage wheel, which is why this bag is pretty much empty already. Um, they get their treat forage wheel filled up, filled up like every couple of weeks. Um, I don't like to do it too much, obviously. Um, and then we have these ones, which are raspberry and cranberry. I have, they haven't had these ones before. These ones look like little cupcakes, if you can see that. They look like little cupcakes. I also got some dandelion root. Oh. Dandelion root is just dandelion root that's been dried out. Do you want this? Do you want it? No, doesn't want it. Um, but I thought this would... Um, be a nice thing to try. I didn't want to go to the hassle of picking dandelion root and um, dehydrating it if they didn't like it, so I just bought it first because, you know, effort. You want a treat? Do you want a treat? Is that it? Do you want one of these? Here you go. Here you go. And then the final thing that I got from Pets at Home is these Vitacraft yogurt drops in the wild berries flavour look like this and these are actually pretty big yogurt drops when it comes to yogurt drops quite large ones i'm just gonna show you the size i'm used to them being a lot smaller so obviously they get a lot less of these um so this is a flavored one and then from the range i got these ones which are just the plain sugar-free yogurt ones and I got these sticks. Now, for the life of me, I can't remember what company these are from. They come in like a cardboard box with this inside. And it's sort of orangey. And I have a feeling it's the same company that makes the Reggie Rat, Rat and Minnie Mouse food. Not sure. Um, but I got these. The boys really like these. I often break them into smaller pieces. As you can see, they're quite big. And also as a treaty, treaty, treat, treat, which they don't get very often at all. I was in a co-op 
um, that had, you know, the snacks in the dispensers, and I got them some yogurt covered banana chips, which they go absolutely mad for, and I often only give them a tiny little piece of one because obviously, you know, it's quite, oh, everyone's stealing the treats, so that's good. Um, bye then, Kate. I was going to give you this, but where are you going to put it? Oh, you fit it in your mouth. Well, to fatty. So yeah, that is what I got so far. I will be adding additional clips into this. Can you smell all the food? What are you doing? Oh. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Hello. So here are some more stuff that I got. And I got Hester with me. Hester is almost one years old. It's his birthday mid-October. That's my guess. Um, and I'm going to show you um, some things that I got. So this are from Home for Rats Hammocks. Um, some little toys for when I do a little Halloween autumn cage. So we have this little, he's trying to get onto the floor, this little one um, with a pumpkin on it, Hester. No. Then we also have um, this little one, I think is really cool, like this one, this is a maple leaf. And then this little extra that she put in, which is a foraging toy that has pumpkin seeds in it. I'm going to save this for Kate and House's birthday um, because it looks like a present and I think it would be cute in pictures. The boys have found this box and they're on free room, which is why Hester's here because I had to bring him as well as the stuff. And also she gave me a little cute little note that Hester ate almost half of. So that's good. I think I paid about £16 for both of those items and the postage. Hester is a bit unnerved that we're in my bedroom. So I'm gonna go and take Hester back on free roam. But here is the little bugger that is Hester Pester. Hello, so this is my package that I got from Rat Rations. I got some stuff for a mix. Um, so I'll be making a mix soon. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I got stuff to also make a straight mix for the first time. If you see me looking over there, that's because Hester just had a weird, like, episode of getting all puffy. I don't really know what happened. I wasn't really in the room, so I'm just gonna watch them. So, yeah, I got some ingredients to make a straight mix, which I'm very excited about, um, as well as some, like, other things. So, I got some maize. Some wheat it discs. Um, some flaked barley. Some flaked rice. Groats, some buckwheat, now onto the veg I got um, parsnip, uh, some mixed veg, um, leek flakes, beetroot flakes, flaked peas, um, 
Um, then I got some seeds. So I got some linseed. Oh, I think the millet is also in the base mix. So some millet. Then some seeds and nuts. So I got linseed, hemp, and some almond kernels. And I also got some of the tail cleaner because I want to see just how dirty my boy's tails are. And this wasn't very expensive at all. Um, so yeah, that is what I got from Rat Rations. I love getting my food from Rat Rations. You can also get pre-made mixes from Rat Rations, um, which are excellent. Um, they have a lot of variety for different needs. They have them, you know, for mothers and kids and old rats and sick rats and with a variety of different ingredients. Um, and you can also get ice mixes from Rat Rations, which are, you know, extra nutrients in them. So all this is very, very exciting to me. Um, came in this bag which um is actually recyclable so that's good yeah i really enjoy rat rations um the shipping can be a bit pricey i usually pay about six pounds shipping but i find paying that is much easier for me um than going to get these from lots of different places um because you know you can find all of this stuff in in the same place like buckwheat i don't know where i would buy buckwheat from if not from Rat Rat. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. I am going to partially, when I make my next mix, I'm going to use up all of the base mix I have and then start using this um, straight mix. But I wanted to try a straight mix because I wanted to avoid all of the alfalfa that the base mixes seem to have in them. So yeah, that is what's going on. I have a lot of stuff to make a straight mix and I'll be buying at the shop today my processed grains so pasta and cereals and rice cakes because those will be great um, and I might also buy some more seeds I think something like pumpkin I really want melon seeds I, I wanted to buy melon seeds but they were actually not on my rations so I'm gonna see if I can find melon seeds when I go food shopping today but that is what i got from my rations and i will see you in the next clip hello welcome back to this video why am i acting like this is the start of a video this is the end of a video today is actually the 3rd of october but i thought i would finish this um collective haul for the month of september upload it and see how you like it and see if you want me to do it again so and the first thing that I have to show you is an order for from Fish for Dogs. Fish for Dogs is where I get all of my dog and cat food supplements to my rat's diet. So I get sometimes their kibbles for my mix, but I also get their wet foods and their treats as well. So starting off with this pouch of trout, I also have two of the mackerel with squid two of the sardine with shrimp, two of the mackerel with anchovy, a two of the mackerel with shrimp, and then I got three different types of the tuna ones, but rats shouldn't have tuna very often because of the mercury content, so it's once every few weeks for tuna, hence why I didn't get as many. So I got a tuna with crab, a tuna with cheese, and a tuna with seaweed. I also got some of these fish banana wraps, which are banana chips. <coughs> Sorry, I've got that cold that's going around. There are banana chips um, wrapped in fish skins, which my boys really love, but they only get them very rarely. And like this bag of treats is four pounds, which is like not expensive as it goes for treats, but they do like these. They especially love banana and they love fish skin, so great. I also have these sea, these dental sea jerky fish tiddlers, which is just like a little, I'll show you on, just like a block of fish skin all smushed together, um, which is a nice treat for them, it just looks like this. Um, and then fish for dogs, 
depending i think it's depending on how much you spend but every time i've got an order from them i've had extra like a free sample thrown in so this is the salmon bites which is a training treat for dogs um but makes a perfect rat size little treat um and it's just 100 percent salmon like that is just salmon um which is really cool my rats love salmon don't you don't you So there's that, and that's my fish for dogs order. I love getting my fish for dogs order. Um, I think their um, wet food is brilliant as the supplementary meal that I feed my um, vitamins in, and I think their treats are really good. They're always um, completely like meal free. Um, you know, like meat meal is always like you know their proper ingredients. They're always really nice, good ingredients. Hi, Esther. Hi. Hello. Oh, you don't want to be stroked? You want to treat, don't you? Shall I give you one of these? Look at him. He's waiting. He's waiting. Here we go. They actually eat their breakfast right now. Yeah, so those are the things I got from Fish for Dogs. I really enjoy um, Fish for Dogs. I think it's really fun. Um, and then, yesterday, on the 2nd of October, I went to my first rat show. It was a really great experience. I really regret not showing any of my rats and also not bringing any of my rats as shoulder rats. But I met some wonderful people and got a real feel for what like the rat fancy is like in person which was really exciting and um i had a really great time you know a, a, a lovely guy and his girlfriend um gave me a lift um, everyone was really nice i got to see the breeder of akatosh and quorum again she was really lovely she um offered to give me a lift if i need it and you know it's on her way so it was a really good day um and i got a few things whilst i was there that I wanted to show you and next time when I go to a show I will sort of vlog the experience I don't think I can really vlog at the show um it really depends on I think I'll have to ask permission to do that but I will vlog my experience of taking my boys how to get ready um to go to stuff like that um I think Piri Island's a treat Piri has been since good boy since being in with everybody else, he's gotten so gentle, um, which is really nice to see because when we got him, he was really nervous and really bitey. Esther, you've already had one. Esther, you've already had one. Um, so at the show, there was a raffle. I got raffle tickets but didn't win any of them. Um, the couple that gave me a lift, they did win some things and they won three buckets and they felt bad because every time they won, I missed on missed out by like one strip. So they decided that I could have one of their buckets and I picked the green one um, because I think it would go best with my naturalistic theme. I've not decided quite yet what I'm gonna do with it, but I feel like it's gonna be cool to like hang somewhere and like some like foragey stuff or I could like make it into a hide. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this bucket yet but it's a green bucket and i got some really cool little um hammocky stuff that this is one of them this is from a store called cozy beds and burrows it uh, so can i just look at this and i just show them it looks like this it's sort of like uh, let me take the cover off it's just like a wire basically in this sort of shape this wire here with a like a fleece um cover on it which i don't know if i've mentioned on the video Piri has decided that when they're allowed up he's gonna climb down here and give himself free room which obviously is not great um because i'd like to be able to give them um access to the top of the cage without having him escaping so i went to the show and i was looking at some of the stalls and I decided on, I got this, and I got another thing that I'm going to show you in the next clip to hopefully <coughs> um, deter him from being able to climb down these bars. 
so as you can see Akatosh is using this platform which is nice to see but we'll have to see whether it stops Periite from escaping I don't have any treat testers it's just my hand the other thing that I got is this thing which I got for the same sort of principle it's from a store called Pepperoos. I will tag all of these stores I've got things from down below so you don't miss out. I got this. Um, so it's basically just two perches, two wooden perches with this sort of hand. Oh god, everyone's having a little fight. Boys. And so I picked this cover. Oh my god, when I turn the camera on. Oh, sorry about that. These two decided they were not going to get along for a second there. Um, these, I decided on this one that has nice cute little leaves on it. And I also got a Halloween one. Look at that. Very, very cute. If you'd like me to do this again for October, um, do let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to do so. The rats are being a little odd. So I'm going to go now. And thank you very much for watching. See you later.